So right now we're just going to take a brief moment to talk about Avogadro's number and the mole. This is perhaps one of the most important concepts in chemistry. So really Avogadro was this really wonderful person who came up with this number based on the isotope carbon 12. So in studying carbon 12, we know that this weighs exactly 12.0000000 grams and he took t exactly 12 grams of carbon and he used that to define exactly one mole. So instead of having a gold standard, chemistry actually has a carbon standard. So one mole of carbon 12 weighs exactly 12 grams. That's defined as one mole. So what is a mole? It's really a way of counting. So instead of, because atoms take up so little space, there's absolutely gajillions of them and trying to count every single one and including those zeros would be like absolutely phenomenally difficult. Right, so here's my example of all, all of these atoms. It's too much. How do we know how many is in there? So we just define it as 12 grams of carbon is one mole. Okay, so how many atoms would actually be in one mole? Avogadro figured that out as well. And it's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. It's how many molecules or atoms if I could spell, are in one mole. So just like 12 donuts, see where my mind is, equals one dozen, right? 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules is one mole. If you want to see how big this number really is, I challenge you to take this out of scientific notation and so you can move the decimal three places this way, add 20 more zeros to the end of that. That's how many molecules there are. It's a fantastically huge number. Okay, um, so and just like we could have 12 donuts in one dozen, we could also have 12 bagels in one dozen or 12 eggs, one dozen. It doesn't matter what element this could be, this represents, this could be uh, 6.022 6 blah, blah, blah. times 10 to the 23rd molecules of carbon, oxygen, arsenic, uh, selenium, um, gallium, any element on the periodic table, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of it equals one mole. And that's a really kind of important concept. So just like 12 donuts has a different number of calories as 12 bagels or 12 eggs, but we can relate them all together by because they're a dozen, we're going to relate different molecules and different chemicals together based on the mole because the mole is standard just like a dozen is standard it doesn't matter what you have a dozen of there's 12 of them the mole is standard so this is how we're going to relate two different chemicals to each other in a chemical equation this is our way of counting and that's why it's so important for chemistry